Open Joint Stock Company for Expo Poltava Mining is one of the largest operations in Ukraine mining industry. Today, each second ton of pellets in Ukraine is produced at Forexpo Poltava Mining. The company is the largest supplier of iron ore pellets among CIS exporters into European Union and Asia countries. We also supply to Ukraine local steel mills. The company's strategic target is to become competitive both in domestic and global markets by means of higher quality pellets output, meeting requirements and expectations of the customer. In order to achieve this goal, Forexpo Poltava Mining has successfully implemented ISO 9001 quality management system which is in line with international standards. Management of the company pays great attention to the issues of labor safety. Forexpo Poltava Mining has developed a health and safety policy applicable to its operations and types of activity that is in line with the Forexpo Group health and safety policy. The prevention of injuries to employees is the highest priority of the management and it is reflected in policies and practices of the company. Adequate health and safety training is provided to all employees and contractors. Departments of the company have specialized classes for labor safety training. Alongside with the efforts of the company management, workers and employees are personally responsible for their own safety and that of their colleagues. Forexpo Poltava Mining continues to implement safety programs to improve health and safety of its workers. These include work with DuPont on behavioral audits, training sessions and periodic revisions of company safety standards to keep them in line with the world's best practices. Forexpo Poltava Mining implemented health and management system consistent with the requirements of OHSAS 18001 the international recognized standard for health and safety management. History of Forexpo Poltava Mining starts with the discovery of nine deposits of Kremenchuk magnetic anomaly in 1930 by famous Leningrad geologist and geophysicist Andrei Strona. Two of these deposits of Ferruginius quartzite, Gorishny Plavninske and Lavrikovske, are currently the source of raw material supply to Forexpo Poltava Mining. As of the 1st of January 2010, it is confirmed that Forexpo Group has JERC classified resources of 6.8 billion tons and GKZ Soviet classification resources of 14.2 billion tons. Forexpo holds exclusive licenses to one of the largest iron ore resources in the world consisting of a single 50-kilometer-long strike divided into adjacent deposits with an average iron ore grade of 30%. Yaristova, Bilanova and Galishinsko deposits are the source of raw material supply for Forexpo Yaristova mining, which is a part of Forexpo Group. Also, Forexpo Poltava Mining holds licenses for exploration works on resources quantity adjustment for the deposits of Northern Group, Vasilkovske, Harchinkovske, Manuilovske and Brevarskoye deposits. Currently, open cast mining of iron ore is carried out at Garishny Plavninske and Lavrikovske deposits. Mining works are executed by Mining Department, Structural Division of Forexpo Poltava Mining. Total amount of crude iron ore excavated from the existing pit is in excess of 28 million tons per year, with 23 million cubic meters of overburden. From the beginning of the current pit operation, approximately 900 million tons of iron ore were produced. Stripping volumes for the same period exceeded 700 million cubic meters. This year, pit depth is 340 meters in the southern part and 150 meters in the north. Length of the pit is 5,800 meters. The pit is 2,000 meters wide in the southern part and 800 meters wide in the north. The Mine Life Extension Program will extend the life of the mine to 2038. Preparatory phase of the mining rock excavation comprises of blasting. Drilling rigs used in the pit are supplied by Terex and Atlas Copco, as well as some of Russian manufacturers. 
removing and loading on the working faces at reloading stations, as well as handling of overburden at the dumps, is done using in-pit dragline excavators, EKG type, and Hitachi and Kamatsu hydraulic excavators with bucket capacity ranging from 4 to 15 cubic meters. Apart from the mining department, mining transport department and railway transport department form integral part of the mining transport complex. These departments handle mining rock transportation using trucks and railway transport. Mining transport department transports iron ore in the pit using fleet comprising of Bellas, Kamatsu, Caterpillar and Hitachi trucks with the truck's capacity up to 180 tons. Per annum, trucks transport approximately 90 million tons of mining rock. A railway department is transporting iron ore to the processing complex and handles about 55 million tons per year. A railway fleet consists of electric locomotives, diesel locomotives and special railway cars, dump cars with carrying capacity of 105 tons each. Total length of railway tracks is 186.8 km. 87 km of railway tracks are electrified. Crude iron ore from the open pit is delivered to the processing complex consisting of crushing and concentrating plant and pelletizing plant. Average ferrum content in the iron ore delivered to the processing complex is 30%. Crushing departments include primary crushing area, two identical areas of secondary and fine crushing where cone crushers made in Russia and Sweden are installed. Two areas of dry magnetic separation form the part of crushing department. These areas are equipped with modern conveyor and drum magnetic separators, securing dry beneficiation of all incoming iron ore. There are also Swedish high-speed impact rotary crushers for additional crushing before ore is fed to parabolic bins of concentrating department. Gravel produced in the process of dry magnetic separation after it had been reclassified goes to the dry tail storage area either as a gravel sized from 0 to 5, 5 to 20, 20 to 40 mm fractions or as a mix of fractions ranging from 0 to 40 mm to be sold to the customers. Dry tails in the form of construction gravel are delivered to product stockpile for sale. The iron ore processing capacity of crushing department is 34 million tons per year. Concentrating department consists of 14 technological sections located in two buildings. The sections process crushed iron ore with 30.3% ferrum content. Each section includes rod and ball mills, one and two spiral classifiers and hydrocyclones. Wet magnetic separation is performed in two stages by eight polar and 14 polar magnetic separators. Resliming of magnetic material is performed in three phases in magnetic and hydraulic separators. Two buildings of concentrating department house 56 units of grinding equipment, 370 magnetic separators, approximately 350 hydrocyclones of different types and sizes, 94 magnetic and hydraulic separators, and large set of pumping equipment. Reconstruction and modernization works, improvement of technologies and lines automation are in progress. In December 2002, concentrate flotation section was put into operation. This section is equipped with state-of-the-art highly efficient equipment from the leading global mining equipment manufacturers. Processes are controlled using automation control system developed by Metso Automatic Company. Airmines Lilaflot D817 by Agza Nobel are used as a flotation reagent. This technology allows to produce concentrate with 64-68% of ferrum content and reduce silica content down to 5% with grinding of 96-97% of material in the class of minus 53 microns. Production capacity of the concentrating department is 10.5 million tons per year. Introduction of flotation technology is an important step for Forexpo Poltava mining. Today it is successfully operating 
that allows us to meet not only strategic target of palace quality improvement with more high quality product output, but also to solve the issues of pit redesigning as well as involve more lean ore into production process. Crushing and concentrating plant produced about 370 million tons of iron ore concentrate for the whole period of operation. After concentrating process is completed, waste and slime are discharged to the slime dump stations through tailings channel. Then dredge pumps further pump them down for stockpiling in the tailing dumps. Stockpiled slime is bound using biological and chemical methods. The company pays much attention to the protection of environment. About 6 million Ukrainian hryvnias was invested into bioengineering facilities where process water is purified up to standard usage levels. Environment-related activities are performed in accordance with ISO 14001 system, which is successfully implemented in the company since 2007. Pelletizing plant consists of four processing lines with the annual capacity of 2.5 million tons of pellets each. In production plant, we use technology of American company Alice Chalmers, involving great rotary kiln and annular cooler. The following components are used in the pellet production. Magnetic separation treated concentrate, flotation concentrate and occasionally third-party concentrate as well as dolomite, limestone and bentonite clay. Natural gas is used as a fuel and is supplied through gas pipeline. The concentrate is fed as pulp via pipelines, thickened in radial thickeners and goes for dewatering to disc vacuum filters and one press filter through pulp divider. Third-party concentrate may be used as an additional raw material. It is unloaded at the cut tippler and delivered to the raw material stockpile, where it undergoes repulping and further processing together with pulp coming from the concentrating plant. Preparation of ingredients for boiling is done by means of crushing, drying in drum dryer and grinding in bowl mills. Concentrate limestone and bentonite clay are fed for mixing in rotary mixer via weighing and dosing units. The mixture is made into balls in closed cycle drum balling machines with roller screens. Using a reciprocal conveyor and roller stacker, green balls are loaded on traveling grade with 198 square meters surface, where they are dried and preheated up to 1000 degrees centigrade. The pellets are indurated in the rotary kiln, which has 6.7 meters diameter, is 46 meters long and the working temperature is 1240-1260 degrees centigrade. The pellets are cooled down to 100-120 degrees centigrade in the annular cooler, which has the diameter of 20 meters. Technology and equipment based on American system are unique for Ukraine and for Maseyas countries and make it possible for us to produce high metallurgical properties iron or pellets. They are super strong and can withstand up to 250 kilos per pellet, can be reloaded and shipped to long distances. Also, product has low fines content, up to 2.5%, with even size distribution up to 96% of the product, passing sieve size of 9-16 mm. Ferrum content in pellets ranges from 62% to 66.2%, at 0.11-0.2 basticity with minimum content of impurities and maximum cold compression strength, as well as maximum reducibility level in blast furnaces. Annual rated pellets production capacity is up to 10 million tons. Finished product is shipped by railway and water transport. There is a complex of conveyors and hoppers used for loading onto railway cars and barges. Favorable geographic location of Expo Poltava mining facilitates pellets delivery both by railway transport and sea vessels. Expo Poltava mining supply by rail to Austria, Poland, Slovakia, Czech Republic and Germany. We ship by sea to Austria, Serbia, Romania, Italy, China, Japan, India and Turkey. On the 1st of December 2010, the 250 millionth ton of pellets was produced. Expo Poltava mining is in business for over 40 years and we continue to operate at full capacity and deliver value to our customers.